Hey students, today we're going to be working on creating a landscape. Artists practice their creativity by using different tools and resources. It takes practice. It's not always something that you're just born with. So artists work at building that creativity using tools that they know are successful. By using some resources today, we're gonna to ensure that your landscape composition is a good layout. That means that the way that you're developing or creating your picture today is going to be successful because of those tools that you use. Artists sometimes follow those rules or use those tools. Sometimes they break rules and create something unique and new. So today, feel free to use your own ideas as we create our landscapes. To get started, take a look at some of the resources that I have posted along with this assignment on our page. These resources show some different traditional landscape layouts. That means they use some known rules about creating a foreground, and that means the area that's close to us in the picture some rules about the shapes in the middle ground, and that's what's in the middle of the picture, and then the background. And you guys are used to using the word background because it's what comes in the back or behind the picture. So today, you can use those pictures as ideas for how to make up your landscape picture. I'm going to use this image here as my guideline as we get started. So follow along with me or pause the video and start using those resources to create your own landscape. So the first thing I'm gonna do is create the foreground and that's what is in front. I'm gonna start by making a hill about halfway down the page that curves into a valley. Next, I'm gonna work on the middle ground. What's happening in the middle of that picture? Let's make a hill that comes, or a line, because I guess it could be something else. Let's make a line in the middle. And let's add another, maybe a mountain or a hill behind. So we're just breaking this up. Foreground, what's in the front? middle ground, what's in the middle, and then we're going to draw the background, what's in the background. Let's draw some hills coming from this side. It's going to start to look kind of like a stack and maybe a mountain off into the distance. All right, next we can add some details in. So this is where this resource will be handy. Mrs. Harris has drawn out some different types of rocks or different ways to draw trees or other things you could add or we could turn part of our picture into water. I might turn this area that was blue. That gave me the idea to add that and turn it into water. Let's add some bushes or trees here in the front. So pick out a tree and we're gonna make it nice and big. just kind of make it bushy. Maybe I'll draw some trees next to it. Okay, maybe a bush from that area on our resources page. I'm just sketching, so I'm not even pressing hard on my pencil. That way if I change the idea, then I can come back. All right, so one tip is to erase the lines inside of your trees and your bushes. 
and that will make them look like they are in front. That helps it look like the foreground. Okay, so I've got a couple of trees, a couple of bushes, and now it's time to draw maybe some other details. So I liked the idea of turning this into water. Maybe it's a lake, so I could turn that, add some water lines. Okay, now in the middle ground, here on our resource template, I want you to notice that the trees are much smaller than these trees that are in the foreground. So we need to change the size of whatever we're adding. Maybe you're gonna add some rocks or some plants and they need to be smaller than the ones in the foreground. So when we're picking out our color palette for our landscape, I want you to look at the image of the color wheel and notice how one side of the color wheel will have these warmer colors and the other side has cooler colors. Colors that are next to each other on the color wheel are called analogous. I want you to select colors that are near or next to each other, meaning they are analogous for your color palette. Once we get going, you're gonna find that you'll be choosing colors that are similar. They're in the same color family. So you might choose blues and purples, or you might stick with light greens into yellows and oranges. What we don't want for this project is that you're using the entire color wheel. So one of those artist rules that we're gonna be using is selecting out a color palette using analogous colors. All right, so you're going to wanna to use your materials. I like to use paint on these landscapes so that you can get those colors in the background lighter. So let's try to kind of make up some fuchsia paint, some pinks, some blues, whatever you've got. So back in the background, it's going to be really light. Oops, that's not light enough. I'll add water. And I like to do the lightest area first. Okay, then we're going to add a little more paint. It's going to get a little darker. I'm gonna shift colors here for that middle ground. So let's see, I need to add maybe some more blue. To make it a little bit darker. Just gonna go around those and save that detail for later. Okay, I'm gonna to switch to the foreground now to give that time to dry. I don't want it mixing together. 